My dear brothers and sisters, allow me to express my Easter message to you, congratulating you upon the successful completion of the journey of land that we have been making. First of all, I thank you for your generosity in what you have been doing in intensifying your prayer. We had an opportunity to come closer to God. There are many times we have sung that song, Nearer my God to Thee. We wanted to be nearer to God. We wanted to feel the presence of God more in our lives. And that prayer then becomes that intimate conversation with the Lord where he reveals himself to us and then he helps us to know ourselves better. It was a time when we fasted. Those of you who fasted, congratulations, that the fasting has maybe really achieved the goal of, in a way, drawing us closer to Christ and living essentially, knowing that there are many things in our lives we can do without. And that is exactly the consequence of the third pillar of Lent, which is almsgiving. Here I want to express our gratitude as a parish for your generosity. We have made an appeal for land. We have appealed to you to remember the brothers and sisters who are needy in our community. And I can proudly say that you are real people who have opened yourselves, have become sensitive to the presence of God, and this sensitivity has made you more sensitive to the needs of others. Our brothers and sisters are very grateful to you for the sharing of material things, that what you have in a way fasted, that what comes now out of a living relationship with God makes them also alive, they're not deserted. Then in the second moment, I wish maybe to remind you of what you have been fasting. If you have given up something and you have now tasted that it is essential to your life, you can do without that. You have moderated yourself in one way or another. Then when Easter comes, it does not mean now it comes to an end. We integrate that what we have in a way gone through, we have even seen we live lightly. There is more freedom from the things maybe we possess or things that possess us. And now we we don't look back, we just look forward. We strive to that what comes. And then when we celebrate now the victory of Christ, it is not only Christ's victory. We are also victorious, especially when we have been helped to do away with the disordered affections in our lives, which at times make us uh, slaves. And now we are free. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice. Rejoice in that what God himself has done. We are new people. We are alive because the master is alive.